हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी आर डिस्कस अबाउट दी लिवरेज वेयर वी आर डिस्कस टू प्रिपरेशन ऑफ अबाउट दी इनकम स्टेटमेंट वी आर डिस्कस हाउ टू प्रिपेयर द इनकम स्टेटमेंट व्हाट आर द कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ द इनकम स्टेटमेंट दैट वी आर डिस्कस दैट देन वी आर डिस्कस अबाउट दी वेरियस फॉर्मूलाज फॉर कैलकुलेटिंग द ऑपरेटिंग लिवरेज फाइनेंशियल लिवरेज कंबाइंड लिवरेज नाउ इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू बी डिस्कस अबाउट दी कैल डिस्कस अबाउट दी कैलकुलेटिंग ऑफ द ऑपरेटिंग लिवरेज फाइनेंशियल लिवरेज एंड कंबाइंड लिवरेज सो फॉर दैट पर्पज हियर प्रॉब्लम्स इज देयर वील जस्ट डिस्कस दिस प्रॉब्लम एंड वील सॉल्व दैट प्रॉब्लम अ फॉर्म हैज सेल्स ऑफ रुपीज फोर्टी लैक्स वेरिएबल कॉस्ट ऑफ रुपीज ट्वेंटी फाइव लैक्स फिक्स कॉस्ट रुपीज सिक्स लैक्स टेन परसेंट डेप्ट ऑफ रुपीज थर्टी लैक्स एंड इक्विटी कैपिटल इज रुपीज फोर्टी फाइव लैक्स You are required to calculate operating leverage, financial leverage, and combined leverage. Now see, we have to here calculate this operating leverage, financial leverage, and combined leverage. Now they are not asked to prepare the income statement. So directly also you can calculate the operating operating leverage, financial leverage, or combined leverage. Or else, if you want to uh, uh, be as more uh, easy. so you can prepare the income statement also so we'll do one thing we will prepare the income statement see here just income statement so we'll begin with this here the columns will be particulars and rupees these two columns are there first sales less variable cost contribution less fixed cost ebit less interest on debt ebit okay so this is the format of the income statement further it is there that is the preference dividends are there tax are there but if you see that in this problem they have not given the information about the tax they have not given the information about the preference share capital okay and the number of equity shares so hence for this information has not been given so we cannot go ahead now what we will calculate that first sales is 40 lakhs sales is of 40 lakhs so here the sales is 40 lakhs then variable cost is 25 Lakhs. So twenty five lakhs is variable cost. So sales minus variable cost contribution. So forty lakhs minus twenty five lakhs, which is enough fifteen lakhs. Correct. Fifteen lakhs. Then fixed cost is enough six lakhs. So fixed cost is six lakhs. So fifteen lakhs minus six lakhs is equal to nine lakh. Okay, so EBIT is another nine lakh. Then interest on debt. So ten percent debt is there. Offer is thirty lakhs. So thirty lakhs. We'll calculate the interest on debt. So thirty lakhs is the debt into ten percent. So that is an a three lakh. So three lakh is an interest on debt. Correct. So your interest on debt is an a three lakh. So nine lakh minus three lakh is equal to three lakh. So EBT is an a. Sorry. 
नाइन लैक माइनस थ्री लैक इजल टू सिक्स लैक्स तो ये बी टी देना सिक्स लैक्स नाउ विल कैलकुलेट दी लिवरेजेस सो फर्स्ट विल कैलकुलेट द ऑपरेटिंग लिवरेज ऑपरेटिंग लिवरेज तो फॉर्मूला इज एन ऑपरेटिंग लिवरेज कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन अपॉन ई बी आई टी कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन अपॉन द ई बी आई टी इट इज एन फॉर्मूला करेक्ट सो कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन इज हाउ मच फिफ्टीन लैक्स डिवाइड बाई ई बी आई टी इज देर नाइन लैक्स So 15 lakh divided by 9 lakh that we have to calculate. So you are having the calculator. We'll see that. We'll use the Excel sheet. See here. See. 15 lakhs. And 9 lakh. So we'll just divide it. So it is the one point sixty seven. So operating leverage is there one point sixty seven. Understood. Then further we will see the financial leverage. The formula is. What is the formula for the students? E B I T upon E B T. Okay, this is the formula. E B I T upon E B T. So E B I T is how much? Nine lakh. Divided by E B T is there. That is the six lakhs. Nine lakh divided by six lakhs. So we'll calculate it again. Nine lakh and six lakhs. So nine lakh divided by six lakhs, one point five. So one point five is there. That is enough. Financial leverage. Understood. Then. We have to calculate the combined leverage. So here we will calculate the combined leverage also. So see here, combined leverage is equal to operating leverage multiplied by financial leverage. So operating leverage is one point sixty seven into financial leverage that is a one point five. Okay. So one point sixty seven into one point five. So we'll calculate that one point sixty seven into one point five. So that is a two point five. The answer is two point five. Understood? So this way you can calculate the leverage, operating leverage, financial leverage, and combined leverage. Students. Nowadays we are using the computer uh, software for calculation purpose also. As I I have shown you that key on Excel sheet also you can calculate this uh, leverage also by using the formulas. So now the same sum we will calculate by using the MS Excel also. So this is also very important that key uh, you should understand that how to use the various formula. MS Excel is a powerful tool for the calculation. So simultaneously, you should understand that the same type of the problem we will solve on the MS Excel also. See here. So you will have the revision also in this regard. See here. Same sum. A firm has sales of forty lakhs. So sales is of forty lakhs. I am mentioning here. Then variable cost is twenty five lakhs. So contributions. Fifteen lakhs, fixed cost six lakhs. So fifteen lakhs minus six lakhs, 
9 lakhs interest on loan 30 lakhs into 10 percent we calculated 3 lakhs so here ebit is in a 6 lakhs see within the few seconds or within a minute you have calculated the ebt you just see your left hand side whatever the uh, you mentioned the income statement format and only the rupees column you put as a blank and you just putting the values into the rupees column very fastly you are getting the amount which you want it so this way you can calculate the income statement by using the ms excel also now operating leverage i mentioned here the formula contribution upon the ebit so see here the contribution i just put the cursor on the uh, cell where the contribution is there divided by ebit the 1.67 Again in the financial leverage, EBIT divided by EBT 1.5 and combined leverage, I use the formula that in both the way I can show that here 1.67 multiplied by 1.5 that is called as an operating leverage multiplied by the financial leverage, you are calculating the 2.5 that is in a combined leverage or else you use the other formula that is the contribution of EBIT. So see here the contribution is there divided by EBT the answer is same 2.5 so by using this MS Excel sheet also you can easily calculate the uh, operating leverage or financial leverage or the combined leverage and also you can prepare the income statement also so this way you can do it so I think you understood that how to calculate the combined leverage, financial leverage, operating leverage, also how to prepare the income statements, what are the components of the income statements are there and how the figures has been considered while preparing the income statement and with that income statement you can calculate the leverages. So see here the answer is same that is in a which we calculated here okay. Here one more problem is there okay that is in a calculating the degree of the operating leverage financial leverage and combined leverage for the following items. Now here the information which has been given okay which is in a in different uh, form that is a form N form S and form D is there okay so the information which has been given for the three forms n s d and uh, production units given fixed cost interest on loan selling price per unit and variable cost per unit now with this information you can calculate the leverages so just i prepared the income statement for the n form only okay we'll go for the n form so here the particulars and rupees okay only for n form so here production has been given see here they have given the production in units 17,500 this is the production and selling price per unit has been given okay so 17,500 production is there and selling price is an 85 so here see So here sales minus variable cost contribution less fixed cost okay EBIT less interest and EBIT same way we have to calculate now see here the number of units are there that is a 17,500 okay so i just mentioned that number of units 17500 so here the calculation will be sales 17500 into 
85 is a its selling price. So 17,500 into 85. We'll just use the Excel sheet here. See here, 17,500 into 85. Okay, 14 lakh 87,500. So 14 lakh 87,500 is there. Okay, then variable cost. Now variable cost is given that is another 38 per unit. So again 17,500 because here the information has been given as an uh, unit wise and unit price so 17500 into just a moment 38 38 so again 17500 into 38 that is the 665000 You deduct it from that, you will get the contribution eight lakh twenty two thousand five hundred. Eight lakh twenty two thousand five hundred. Correct. Then fixed cost. Now fixed cost is given. See directly interest. Oh, sorry, four lakh. So fixed cost is a four lakh. Now eight twenty two four five hundred minus four lakh. That is the four twenty two five hundred. Then interest. Which is given one lakh twenty five thousand. Okay, so interest is one lakh twenty five thousand. So see here, it is in a four lakh. We did a here four twenty two, and interest is in a one lakh twenty five thousand. So we are deducting the interest. Two lakh ninety seven thousand five hundred is there. So two lakh ninety seven thousand five hundred is in a EBT. Now we calculate the operating leverage that is the contribution upon the EBIT contribution is in a 8 lakh 22,500 EBIT is in a 422,500 correct so here see 822,500 divided by 422,500 1.95 1.95 is there then financial leverage EBIT upon EBT EBIT is calculated that is a 422.500 and EBT is a 297.500 so that we calculated 1.42 1.42 I think you understood that and finally combined leverage operating leverage multiplied by financial leverage so 1.95 into 1.42 see 1.95 into 1.42 so that is a 2.77 so this way you can calculate the leverage so this leverage which has been calculated for the only n firm Thank you students.